Hello guys, this is a small correction video. Okay, so in machine learning, in video 1.5 in unit 1, the fifth lecture, in that we discussed the candidate elimination algorithm. So when I explained the algorithm, I took and solved example, right? Yes. So most of you have asked me that I did a small mistake in it, right? Yes. So you are absolutely correct. I forgot to inform you one particular important point, guys. So that is the reason why you felt that I did a mistake in my notes or in my explanation. So somewhere you are thinking that I did a mistake. So basically both of them are correct, but I need to correct it, right? Yes. So here if you observe, so basically the issue where you all identified is, so in G3, okay, we are having a three parameters, right? Or three hypothesis you can say, okay. But when I wrote for G4, I wrote only two. So most of you are asking, how did I update it? Okay, so basically I wrote the reason here also. So in forecast column, so basically in the last column, okay, so in forecast column in SO4, we are having question mark and in G3, it is the same. So basically in G3, we are having some specific information like same, whereas in specific hypothesis in G4, you wrote question mark, right? So when you wrote a question mark, I told you, so question mark into anything is nothing but question mark, right? Yes. So that is the reason why this is the last value or the last hypothesis will completely become question mark. Got it? Yes. So that is the reason why you can just remove it, guys. So that is the logic. How S4, sorry, how G4, sorry, G3 became G4 with only two parameters. Okay. So now I hope everyone got a clear idea that how I did it, right? how it became only two parameters. So I want to correct that issue first of all. So this is clear, right? Yes. So few of you are asking me that we did not get a clear idea like how did I get the version spaces? So you are a bit confused with it. Okay. So I thought of explaining it in a simpler way now. Okay. Yes. So let us start. So basically you know that in S4 we are having a sunny warm question mark, strong question mark, question mark. Whereas in G4 we are having sunny with all question marks and question mark warm with rest question marks, right? Yes. So the first thing that you do is take the first one guys. Sunny with all question marks. Okay. And in this we are having only one, right? Okay. So take any one parameter. Okay. Yes. So let me write it. So basically the, in here it will be sunny, right? Yes. Okay. So sunny, I need to take any one parameter from this, right? Yes. So if you are taking sunny again from here, it is already written, right? So why to take it again? So let us take warm. So take warm. Warm. Okay. So rest all question marks. Two, three and four. So this is your first version space. Okay. So let us continue. Similarly, sunny with another. So sunny is done. Warm is already written here. So let us take strong now. So sunny, question mark, question mark, strong question mark question mark so this is your second one nice similarly let us take the third one so now this is done so let us take this hypothesis and let us consider with this one so warm and here there's question mark so let us take sunny and warm so basically sunny and warm is already there right so why to take it again so we don't want any repetitions right so it is already there with sunny and warm okay and the last combination will be warm is already there strong so warm with strong okay so question mark question mark warm Okay, sorry. Question mark warm, comma, question mark strong. Okay, so you got the exact combinations, guys. So just you will combine them, guys. That is the only logic. So you just multiply this with this. You will you will be getting some result. Okay, so that result make it into two parameters with sunny. So sunny and warm will be one. Sunny and strong will be the one. Warm and strong will be the one. So I hope everyone got a clear idea, right? Yes. So this is the only correction which I want to say, guys. That is nothing but from G3, how it became G4. Here we are having three parameters. Here how it became two parameters. Now you got it, right? So whenever you are multiplying with question mark, you can avoid it. Got it? Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea, right? Yes. Thank you. Thanks for watching.